Yep. Back out. It's about uh, four o'clock. It's absolutely glorious weather. There's a little chill in the air still, but when you're not in the wind out, it's really warm. I just decided to come for a little walk. Just a little wander to get a little bit. Just keep a little fitness going for the weekend. We'll be out camping on Friday and Saturday. I'd say we, there's a few of us. I'm not quite sure how. But uh, we're gonna get out anyway. It's good to see all the videos appearing. All well, the campers are all out already. The lucky ones. These have got out, I've been watching a few. It's all looking good. It's just all the weather, it stays nice. Because you want like people who've been looking forward to it for so long. You know, bought all this gear. You want you want it to be a nice experience your first one camp. Otherwise you just be put off. Sell all your gear. You've just got to stick with it and get the weather. And this weekend is looking good. So anyway, I'm just doing a little local around the hills. I've been here before. Now it's special. Just to fill a bit of time in later on when I'm editing. Here's um, just a little familiar place, Bothy of Bother. Behind that is the Forest of Fear. Me and Chebzut camped in there a couple of times. Some good nights in there, like. Had a good laugh, one of them. But yeah. Oh, there's not, there's, I've seen two people so far. This is the quiet place. This is like not, not where people come this route. They normally go over the same inside crags. But if you know, you know. Well, I mean, I've done I've done a video of this walk last year, I think. And just um, honestly, I just get bored. Sat in my house, Ugh. so I like to keep my hand in with the editing. I'm going to edit this on my phone. Um, save it in 4K. And if I use this phone to video with it, it'll be interesting to see the quality. See if it's any better than the other one. Should be. Um, yeah, I'm going to edit in 4K, save it on the phone, and then airdrop it to my laptop, and then put it in iMovies and do all the titles and credits and all that. I'm heading over there, which is called Corkit Can. Corkit Can. Like I say, been here before. You don't have to watch this. This is basically just for me, my own devices. Right. About seven, seven and a half, eight mile total. Should be a couple hours. It's a lovely walk. It's nice and peaceful. I love this bit coming up next to the river. That's where we'll come back at the little bridge. This here is the remains of an old Roman stone circle. A square circle, I nearly said. That would be something, wouldn't it? This was laid by Neolithics for the um, Bronze Age Romans to celebrate some sort of ancient thing. Not really sure. It's weird though, isn't it? I do feel a magical presence. Oh no, it's just me. <laughs> There's an old tree of uh, much fire starting material. See this? If you find this and it's tinder dry, that makes good fire starting that. Put a steel spark on that, it'll gun up. Old man's beard. Old man's beard. Don't get them confused. Oh, my beard set on fire. All right, anyway, just coming up to the bridge. Here we are, here's my favorite little bridge. I don't know, it's just something about it. I don't know, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's like it. You know when you get them, your favorite little places. That's mine. Right, so I'm going to go up there, up to Corkett Cairn, and if I can get through where the forestry work was, they may have cleared the path. It's been a while since I've been. I'll go that way, but if not, I'll just head towards Selby's Cove, and then I'll go to our old cave that we're camped in, up on the same inside crags, back along. But if I can get through the trees at the back, that's an extra mile and a half, two mile maybe, just through the forest. 
Not sure, not sure if I'll get through. Let's see. It was a, a steep hill there, but I'm up. These are new. Gro gross hoods, shooting butts. Nice and clean, aren't they? Brand new. See the decking? I read somewhere that that is upside down. It's supposed to be the other way up. That's meant to be on the bottom because it helps with the drainage. So if you put decking in like that, you're doing it wrong, apparently. Allegedly. So the experts said, you know, what do experts know? Nothing, that's what. Well, over here, coconut can. So I normally stop and have a little break. But today's no exception. But what's shocking is, that's the, that's what's left of the trees. I'm not joking. Last time I was here, the trees started there. They had this split closed off. Looks like it's open now, I might go through, see what they've done. I can't believe how many trees are gone from here. Ah, oh, that's heartbreaking. You had to walk up there to the end of them, once them trees there, and then across over to Selby's Cove. But I'm gonna go through, because they've cleared it, they've all cleared out, so it's open, there's no signs up. God, I can't believe it. And the trail line started here, just here. And it was dense, thick forest. <laughs> oh dear. Now this is a famous Corkett can, named after Billy Corkett, the mayor of Canterbury, who lived, um, he lived in Corkett Avenue, Canterbury. The same inside crags, I'm gonna go back along the top of it. That's where I cycled along there. I was on that bike ride, I, went, I walked up the side with the bike, cycled all the way along and then down the path of death. I don't think I'll do that again. Why oh, in fact not, down there, and then all the way along there. It's, a, it's a quite a long way, that walk. I think from here. Uh, anyway, I'm going to have a little, a little something to eat, a drink, and then cry about all the lost trees. God. Yeah, so I'm in the middle of the former Forest of Fear, which, as you can see, it's just uh, whew, gone. It was all like that. And you walk along this, you used to walk along here, and there was trees on either side. Well, you can see where the stumps are. Lovely big trees on either side. It was really, really nice to walk through here. It was really relaxing. And the smell of the pine, and then you got the birds and the peace and quiet. Why did they do it? I know why they do it, but ugh, I wish they wouldn't. Just find a better way. It was a really, really lovely walk. This. What I'm thinking is, though, I'm just keeping my eyes on it and uh, you can cycle along here. Come here on my bike. There's a few boggy areas which I have to carry it, but that's alright. Most of it's like this. And you go down the bottom of there and you come back up. There's a road up there. You come all the way back up. Can't make it. I can see the road, but you're not getting on. trees to kind of walk because it was boggy and for Selby Marcus Selby's Cove and it, uh, it was named after the Roman Emperor Marcus Selbius who was well renowned as a good potter yep I'm just looking over to the cave there it looked like there was somebody in right but when I looked through my cheap garage binoculars in. So they might be cheap but they're good enough work well. I'm just thinking about a bivy camp down there one night. Let me get me a little pre-tent tent down there. Be alright we shall it wouldn't it? Right, I'm gonna um, push on over that way. That's a bit up and down. And then it's up before the cave and then along the side and then up onto the top of the crag and all the way back. There's loads of people up there, I can see them all. Don't need to be that close me. But yep, enjoying this. Can't wait to get out camping properly though. Gonna mix it up, gonna do uh, bivvies, hammocks, 
do some bike camp and bike packing. That's why I bought that pretense tent to do some bike packing. I would love to do the West Highland Way, but getting time off work at the minute is really hard. There's no staff, there's only me and another bloke who can't do my job, so I can't take time off yet. Two years I haven't had a day off, uh, holiday, two years. I think that's going to change though, because um, we're interviewing people soon. So I'll get somebody trained up so I can have some time off. Maybe just get some nice walks and a few trips to Scotland done. Yeah, we'll see. Right, I'm going to push on. Not far to go. I say not far to go. It's about three miles, three and a half miles back to the car. And it's all uphill. <laughs> there it is. Cave of uh, sheer hell. Actually, heed. Oh, yeah. Is it uh, an old cave painting by the couple of Neanderthals that stayed near one night? This is where I lied. No, where I lay. That's the view out. There you go. Didn't know this phone had a wide angle lens. Well, this is not acceptable. You know, these fence posts belong to the farmers and the landowners. It's not firewood. Don't be a, uh, don't be a dingus. Bring your own firewood. I thought, go, oh God, I was bang my head. Great. I thought I said, bang, watch your head now. I can smash my head off it. Nice. I like this camp here, it's good. Right, so I've climbed up Simon Side Crag, off a Dove Crag, all that along here. This, where I am now, is where we're camped. Me and the two marks. I need that rock. <laughs> Biffy night, that was a good night. I just got up off. Sat up there and we'll take a chance of just chilling beer, talking rubbish. Right, so I've got one more downhill, then an uphill, and then down down the stairs where I rode my bike. Stairs of death. So we'll come back. Just down there. Just milling about on that rock. Oh, actually, we might put a chair here. I think we did already. Right? Listen, what a lovely night. I feel like going around again, but I'm too hungry. I want my tea. And I'm just going down the path of treachery that I came down on my bike. I can't believe I cycled down that. I'm just coming down up there, some of the drops. And I'm thinking, oh, I must have got off here, but I, I remember them drops, I remember hitting them and just dropping over the side of them. What the hell was I thinking? <laughs> and this bit, the road down here. So, I was saying 7.5 miles from the car around. So I went up there, over the back spy law, right around the back through that forest, and then back over Simon's side. It's the usual route I've done before. Yeah, but watch it. It's for my own devices, like I said. I'm just parked down there, so I'm gonna call it the day. T tomorrow, I'm busy at work, and then I've got, I've got a bit of shopping to do, beer, a couple other things for Friday. We're going out on Friday. I mean, the, the lads, a few familiar faces. We're just gonna do a small one on Friday because uh, we met Rob's coming over. A long drive, so we don't want to be going too far when he's had to come all that way. Plus, I don't know what time I'm going to finish work on Friday, so we're going to we're gonna finish, get up there for about five o'clock, have a few hours, a few beers. But Saturday, we're going to do a much longer walk we're on a hill we've camped on before, but we just fancy doing it again. So hopefully, won't be too busy. And, uh, if, everybody, if anybody's out, have a good one. 
enjoy the weather because it's looking good for the weekend. Breed. Catch you on Friday. Well, I say Friday, it's going to be at least Monday till I get them uploaded.